one roller. Well, that was fun, guys, right? Absolutely. You all had a good time? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a blast. Hey, Mr. Foxworthy. Yes. How does everyone get in touch with you or even find out what you're doing? Well, you can reach me at mrfoxworthy.com. Excellent. So, is everybody ready to watch this film? Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Yeah? Yep. Okay, well, let's get into it. Hey, everybody in the control room, are you guys ready in there? All right, let's do this. Roll it! I'm so glad you could make it today. Come, come closer. Don't be shy. Comfortable all? Then let's begin the stories of my adventures. Of course, every story of mine has a special lesson. Try to figure out what it is. Well, anyway. Our story begins when one day I awoke to... Mr. Foxworthy! Ah, it's Bob Bird! <laughs> Mr. Foxworthy, it's, it's terrible. My, my nest was destroyed. What happened? <laughs> uh, a little boy was climbing up my tree and, <laughs> and he didn't notice my nest. <laughs> and he, he knocked it down to the ground. <laughs> and, and he kept climbing. Oh, that's terrible, Bob. But you interrupted me. I was just about to tell today's story. Sit down, relax, and listen. What? What's going on? What's all that noise? Hey, it's a fox. Hey, little guy. Little guy. Me. Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Gil and I just moved in over there. I'm his pal Phil. I'm helping move in. Cool place. No one around. I play my music as much as I want. No one around, sir. What about all the other neighbors? What neighbors? What? Bob the bird, Bernard the bear, and Rochelle the raccoon. Those are just animals. They still have homes. Even a tree. Mr. Foxworth. Oh, hi. It's Ben Bunny. Enjoying the city life? No. My owner promised her parents she'll look after me. But she often forgets to eat me or let me out of my hut. I'm hungry, bored, and really unhappy. Well, sorry to hear that. I've been having problems with people too. And then the trouble got worse. Not again! Oh. Enough with that racket! Some of us are trying to work! Yeah! It's like I'm invisible! It's like I don't even exist! Mr. Foxworthy, Mr. Foxworthy! Why? It's Bernard Bear! It's terrible! I'm walking through the woods, the humans are just so quiet, I don't know they're there until I bump into them. And they scare me, and I scare them. Well, that is terrible. But maybe if you stick around and listen to the end of my story, it might just calm you down. <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. Oh, the sun is up, and it's beautiful and warm. I might just decide to have it not outside. 
What a nice day. Makes you feel like sick. And I love to be able to sleep. You can't just do whatever you like. And I would like to get some rest. If you don't respect me, how am I going to respect you? Was I really bothering you so much? Yes. Just because I'm an animal doesn't mean you get everything you want and I get nothing. I'm sorry. Eh? I didn't think I was bothering you so much. That's right. You didn't think at all. No, I didn't. And I'm sorry. So, your precious guitar? No. I decided it was better to talk things over. What happened next? Gil, can you come here, please? Hey everyone, thanks to Mr. Foxworthy, I learned my lesson. Uh, what does that? Today's lesson is, just like humans, animals deserve your consideration and respect. Don't destroy the home. Huh. Don't ignore their problems. Don't frighten them and force them to frighten you. Have a great day today, children. And We'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. See you. Bye. Goodbye. Be well. Bye. Goodbye. See you. Wow. Very impressive indeed. So, what'd you guys think? It was great. Felt like a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, it really was quite interesting to see sort of uh, all the different stuff that was done with the things that that I wrote. Um, and certainly I felt that you did a lot of really interesting things with uh, perspective. I think there's lots of scenes where Mr. Fox really, where they really did look much uh, smaller than the, uh, the humans, which I felt really did create a, a really neat effect. Yeah. yeah. So everything worked out the way you thought it was going to, or...? Well, um, no, certainly I think that uh, pe people went off in sort of d different directions and I guess I saw that a couple of stuff that I wrote ended up being sort of changed slightly, the dialogue spoken differently, yeah. a couple of the actions were, were done a little differently, like certainly in the original version, uh, the guitar actually actually gets grabbed and then Mr. Fox would, you know, would lift it up to smash it, but certainly with the way that was set up here, obviously that wouldn't have worked out so well. I think it's yeah. to, to do that we would have had a, like a small guitar or something and a big that. guitar yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> and editing wise what do you think it was a whole lot of fun to do actually I had a, an awful lot of time to do it and I, I actually was up a couple of nights but it was, it was so much worth it yeah I had a lot of fun with this it was very interesting and you guys thought about the editing uh, the thoughts? cutting did you like yeah, that absolutely yeah. editing great and the day of what do you think of his set, uh, Mr. Foxworthy's set well, the, the, the set really made it. It was very easy to film you yeah. know, around the set because that was really the, the centerpiece of, of the show and the fox. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Mr. Foxworthy, for bringing your, uh, your home. And, thank and you. Letting us uh, film you and have a good time. Oh, it's my pleasure. And I, I really like to thank the panel here. Um, this is a, a very interesting thing. A lot of people have been trying to, how do you get on this panel? Well. This is the Vancouver B-Movie Factory, and uh, you know what, guys in the crew here, can you lock off your cameras, please, and come join me on set? Oh, so, all of us? Yep, take off your head, ha headsets, come on, come behind us here. There's Make sure you locked it off. Here. So come on out. Forward. You can take, you can keep your headset on because it's wireless. So come on. Out. I just want you guys to see at home, all these people here are part of the Vancouver B-Movie factory and uh, tripping over monitors and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so this is how this works here. 
everybody here is on the Vancouver Bee Movie Factory. They come out to our meetings and they are part of our crew. And I want to thank you guys because it really, really is amazing that you guys keep coming out. And um, we also have people who can't make it to this, to this and they, are, they help out by donating to us. And I want to thank them for doing that as well. So if, you know, follow these guys' lead and come on out and have some fun with us. So thank you guys all, and, uh, and I hope you all had fun tonight, right? Thank you. Absolutely. That, yeah. Bravo! Bravo! So this is the Vancouver Bee Movie Factory, and as you can see, it takes teamwork to make this dream work. So everyone, have a good night. Bye now. Uh, good night, bye. everyone, and sleep tight. <laughs>